Are you ready? Sort of. All right. So you and I have been talking about um, just we've been kind of going over our checklist. Oh, yeah. And, and getting things a little bit more clear on, like, let's just say picking out observers versus deciders. Right. We've kind of been going through all of our coins, but, like... The binary coins are starting to get a lot more clear. So, for example, open up a tedtalk.com or whatever and just open up a bunch of videos and just skim towards the middle part of every video and real quick, within 10 to 15 seconds, go, is this person talking about, hey, guys, so the answers I found is missing information and the studies and the research and the realizations and then I went to Africa and blah, blah, blah. And so they're bringing you all this missing information that yeah. they had figured out. Yes. So that's option one. Or is it, we need to do and we need to do and that guy and we need to do and this has <laughs> got to get done and you got to get done and we need to do and <laughs> I did and you did. And that's option two. So it's multiple choice. Right. So Rhett and Link, right? They've been on YouTube forever. Yeah. And so you got a unique combination there where Link is the <laughs> INFP. <laughs> yeah. He's F-I-N-E. Yeah. And then Rhett is N-E-F-I. Right. And they're both consumed sleep. So this is a great comparison because now you have somebody that is like, they're as much alike as you possibly could be. Right. Except, you know, one is audio, one is double feminine. So, you know, switch that out. But they're very, very, very close. So you're going to see, okay, hold on. You're both consume C plays, but you just have that one part switched. Okay, so we're going to be able to see one talking about things and one talking about, hey, me and my friend or my neighbor or and that guy. This. And how do we get this done? Right. And how do we how do we how do we decide? And then how do they decide? And then we got to get it done once we've decided and they've decided then right. we can make a, a move, you know, right. because now everybody's decided and now we're OK. Right. Exactly. All <laughs> right. So with that all in mind, right. watch this. One time I looked down from the mountains into my neighbor's driveway where he, his car was parked and I noticed Right there. And he was getting in his car. I was like, I was like ducking. I was like, I'm, I'm bathing, I'm shampooing, and I'm like trying to hide myself and see if he can see me. By the end, I was cowering in the corner, showering in my own shower. That's no way to be. And then once he left, I'd be down like this and I'd, I'd be peeking, see if he's over there, because he would be right there. That's my neighbor's house. So I'm telling Rhett <laughs> all of this on the podcast, and then you're saying, your toilet keeps Opening and closing. So, here we go. <laughs> me and that guy and me and right. then the neighbor and then I was and then he was and then I was right. and then he was. <laughs> Anyways, your toilet. The observer guy. <laughs> this thing over here. Can we turn it off? Well, you know, there's a button. This button turned off. Uh, that's the plug. Notice how calm Link gets. Oh, there's a button. Yeah. Just, just, just turn, turn it, it off. off. Do you know how to turn it off? No, I don't. It's not my toilet. Oh, that's, that is the flush. Just unplug it. What I told Link was, you need to lean into this. Now, I tend to think about the inevitable apocalypse. When it really hits the fan in Los Angeles, neighborhoods become tribes, and then you don't want to be subservient in that tribe. You want to be one of the leaders. He this tells me to stare down my neighbor while I'm showering. I was like, to assert <laughs> dominance. Yeah, because if you develop a relationship with your neighbor whereby when he looks at you, you cower in fear, then he's going to have you on a leash in the apocalypse. You want him on a leash. Are you talking about a, a physical leash? Yeah, people are going to be carrying around people on leashes in their pocket. Okay, so, <laughs> so... Control chaos. So, just break that down real quick. You're probably already seeing this. <laughs> This guy's like, hey, the thing that uh, he takes seriously is the apocalypse and stuff like that. Right. Therefore, people, it's like, oh, yeah, put him on a leash. He's not serious. He's just like, <laughs> yeah, that's movable there. So what, people? But it's a, it's not even about people because you have the observers talk about people, but the people are just a part of the control or chaos right. game. Like that's where they fit. It's in this larger thing that we're right. all very concerned with, which is chaos or control. Yeah, put right. a leash on. <laughs> right. So the people are movable, good right. or bad. And right. then this is the opposite. No, no, no. Things are movable. Yeah, it's, just unplug the damn toilet. Yeah, Shut up about the toilet. An apocalypse? Sure. <laughs> I will write it out. It's not a big deal. Anyways, what do I do about my neighbor? What I'm saying is you need to look at him. You need to dominate him. He needs to cower in fear, get into his car and go away. And so you did that, right? I, I, I did do that. How'd it go? It was hard. It's hard to be a leader. It took a lot of gumption. Mm -hmm. And then when I was doing it, I, I, I don't know for sure that he, that he saw me, but I think he did. And he, did, I don't know, he just drove off, but he was going to do that anyway. So, so Link is having that state of, ah, uh, when it comes to people. <laughs> right. And he's just laughing his ass off like, yeah, people, whatever. I haven't talked about this. Like, hey, did, did you notice when I was staring at you in my shower? Well, you wouldn't want to talk to him about that directly. Right. You well, talk about other things. You act as if it never happened. Well, I did that. Good. That's good. Because, like, we went out of town and, like, they kept our mail for us. Oh, so you're already getting to do your work. <laughs> yeah. They're already serving you. <laughs> 
pretty good. There's there's more. Here's the thing. I want to know what it feels like to be him when I do what you told me to do in my shower. So I want you to take a shower. Okay. And I want to go into my neighbor's driveway. Mm -hmm. Be my neighbor. See what it feels like to be him when you're being me, doing what you told me to do. You're going to let me do that in, in private? Well, I'm going to film it. Just... You're going to film it from the waist up. Yeah, I want to know film your junk. I don't want Ben when he's editing this to see my junk or my or my ass. And neither do I. So when you frame me, I want you to start from the top and I want you to tilt down. Because if you do this, if you come from the bottom, I, I there's going to be a moment in the footage where you can see my junk. I don't want. Are you talking about the moment where I'm pointing at your junk? I get it. Okay. Notice, notice, all of a sudden the tall guy gets weird about controlling. <laughs> yeah. And then Link is like, I got it. I got it. I observe what you are observing. That's not, easy to see. Not yeah. a problem with yeah. things. <laughs> he's like, yeah, but if you go up. I get it. Okay. <laughs> so I've gotten on the roof in order to get the best shot that represents what it feels like to be my neighbor in his driveway. That's what it feels like for him when he gets in his car. How's that? Pretty creepy. Why would any neighbor in his right mind while showering stare a guy down when he's just trying to begin his commute? When you have that man on a leash and he's doing your bidding. You were saying stuff? Yeah, I was intimidating. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> Doesn't take people seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was intimidated. Thinks the fucking drama with his right, neighbor. Right, he's like, come on, man. I really need your help right. here. I am really, really genuinely trying to get in the other person's shoes to see from their perspective because that's the hardest thing in the whole world to right. see something from the tribe's perspective. And, and some of the best help you can have is what you and I have is oh, like yeah. have a friend that just absolutely that it's a joke. fucking makes fun of you and so won't much. like just is not stuck in that illusion. Right. If you have two EPs or an EP and IJ you can still have great friends and stuff but it's like right. you'll start doubling down. yeah the apocalypse. Oh I know. Yeah the neighbors <laughs> you know like you'll start to <laughs> rev it up. So you were saying stuff? Yeah I was intimidating. I don't know man you're kind of barking up the wrong apocalyptic tree here if your relationship with your neighbor in the present time before it hits the fan is important it kind of is then maybe you can be nice to him maybe you can just do a slight nod and, and a wave i'm not gonna argue with that well if and when i come back and shower i will intimidate him <laughs> <laughs> double the side I, I might wave i might nod i might be nice to him and then i will intimidate him how does link process it <laughs> <laughs> Because the tribe is hard. It is. They're not movable. How can you be an asshole to him and wave and be nice? Like, you can't do both of those things. It has to be all or nothing. All nice or all mean. I don't understand. Oh, gosh. <laughs> just just so the stupid lessons here is what we're starting to see is, is look for people and doing. Yeah, yeah. And then look for things and information. And you should see the relative balance of the observers are going people who cares. Who cares? Because the worry is with the things and yeah. then the other way around. <laughs>off the planet for where this we, is actually we also going. Thought, when we watched that this one a while ago, we also thought like, huh, I wonder if like evolutionarily like there the evolution has to send like a few families. Like, yeah, out of every thousand, there's got to be a few that are like all in on like, look, the world's going to end. Because every 10,000 years... The world actually does. <laughs> and like these guys right here. <laughs> They're the ones family, carrying the race forward. That's it. <laughs> like here's what restarted population 10,000 years ago. Because the crazy family was right. And we were and by all the way, wrong. that's who you came from. Because that's who kept Can you, it around. I know. There you go. Back in the dinosaur yeah, age. That's oh. why we all have health problems. We're all inbred. <laughs> Can you imagine being like, see, I told you. 